Hello viewers, welcome to MacTech. I am Amish Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve a question of linear algebra from Gate Mathematics 2021. The question is from the topic Inner Product Space. So without a delay, let's start. Question is, let the inner product from Rn cross Rn to Rn be an inner product on vector space Rn over R. Consider the following statements. Statement P. The mod of inner product u comma v less than equal to 1 by 2 into inner product of u comma u plus inner product of v comma v for all u comma v belongs to Rn. Statement Q. If inner product of u comma v is equal to inner product of 2u comma minus v for all v belongs to Rn then u equal to 0. Then option A both P and Q are true. Option B P is true Q is false. Option C P is false and Q is true. Option D, both P and Q are false. In order to solve the question, we have to remember the following results. Result number one. Let V be an inner product space. The vector U comma V belongs to V are said to be orthogonal if inner product of U comma V is zero. Result number two. Let V be an inner product space. Zero belongs to V is orthogonal to every vector V belongs to V. Result number 3. For any vector u and v in an inner product space v, the inner product of u comma v square less than equal to inner product of u comma u into inner product of v comma v or the mod of inner product of u comma v is less than equal to norm of u into norm of v. It is known as cos squares inequality. Now the given statement is inner product of u comma v is equal to inner product of 2u comma minus v for all v belongs to Rn. Now if we solve this inner product 2 comes from here and minus 1 comes from here we get the inner product of u comma v is equal to 2 into minus 1 into inner product of u comma v for all v belongs to Rn. After simplifying we get the inner product of u comma v is equal to minus 2 times inner product of u comma v for all v belongs to Rn. Now take this quantity into left hand side we get 3 into inner product of u comma v is equal to 0 for all v belongs to Rn. This further simplified as inner product of u comma v is equal to 0 for all v belongs to Rn because 3 cannot be 0. Since the inner product of u comma v is 0 for all v belongs to Rn means u is the orthogonal vector of every vector v belongs to Rn and we know that 0 is the only vector which is orthogonal to every vector. This implies u is equal to 0. Therefore, statement Q is true. Also, the norm of u minus v whole square is equal to norm of u square plus norm of v square minus 2 into norm of u into norm of v. Since norm of u minus v whole square is always greater than or equal to 0, this implies norm of u square plus norm of v square minus 2 into norm of u into norm of v is greater than or equal to 0. This further simplified as norm of u into norm of v less than or equal to 1 by 2 into norm of u square plus norm of v square which is further written as 1 by 2 into inner product of u comma u plus inner product of v comma v. Since the mod of inner product of u comma v is less than or equal to norm of u into norm of v, why it is so? Because of cos squares inequality. This implies mod of inner product of u comma v is less than or equal to 1 by 2 into inner product of u comma u plus inner product of v comma v. Therefore, statement P is also true. Since both these statements P and Q are true, hence option A is true. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.